I've introduced you to the basics of setting up and configuring an Umbraco project. Now, in order to get really familiar with how things work, it's time to repeat the process. In this video, we'll be doing exactly that while we expand our project, create more document types, more content, more templates. All set? Let's go. We'll start by creating a somewhat generic text page for our website. First, we'll create a document type. In the settings section, right click the document types folder, select create. Again, we'll choose the first option here. Don't worry, I'll cover the other options in a later video. So we'll call our document type content page. Let's give it an icon. There's a content page here. And the description, this is for generic text pages. And let's add a content group. And we'll add a single property, call it body text. And we will reuse the body text rich text editor from the homepage document type. Here we are, commit the property and save the document type. And there we go. Now let's go ahead and set up our template. I have the HTML files from the custom template open in Visual Studio Code here. The one we want is the one called Content Page Simple, this one. And from here, we want to grab only the main container section. So it's this part down to where the footer starts. There, copy it into your clipboard and head back to the back office. We'll need to find our content page template. It's down here. And below the razor block, paste in our HTML code. So I'll clean this up a tiny bit. There we go. Great. So we need to make sure that our template is using the master template. I'll select the master template here. Super. And for our dynamic values, uh, instead of the container here, I will insert our body text value. There it is. And there it is. All right. Let's save the template. And it is now nested under the master template over here in the tree. Great. Let's also go ahead and create some content based on this. So in the content section, we will click the three little dots next to the welcome page. Ah, we cannot create a content page yet. First, we need to allow for this type of content to be created under content using the homepage document type. So let's do as it says here. Head over to the settings section and locate the homepage document type. Find the permissions tab up here. And the allowed child note types is the one we're looking for. So here we can configure which types of content should be allowed to be created as child note. So we'll click add and select our new content page document type. Great, we'll save it and head back to the content section. Now, if we click the three little dots, you'll see that we're able to create a content page. So let's go ahead and create a node here. Call it learn Braco. And for the body text, we'll say, we are adding more content to our page. Great. Let's save and publish our content page. You see it'll be nested on the, the welcome page here in the content tree. Great. Let's check out the front end. Info tab. And there's a link to the published page here. Great. So this is how our simple content page looks as of now. We have the navigation, the banner here with the title and subtitle. And then we have our body text value right here in the middle where we want it. So for our website, we would also want a content page. To do that, go ahead and repeat this process one more time. And why not take this as an opportunity to experiment a bit with the different property editors available when setting up the document type. I'll go ahead and set up everything needed for the content page off camera and come right back. In the description below, you will find details on which properties I'll be adding to the document type. See you in a bit. All right, I've now created a contact page for our website. The document type, as you can see here, is fairly simple at the moment. And the template, which I've nested under our master template here, 
I've copied over the main container section from the contact page HTML from the custom template files. As you can see, I left the contact form here. And then I've rendered out the body text property down here. All right, let's head over to the content section. I created a contact us node here under the welcome node. And I've filled in some information here in the body text property. And as you can see, I've also added a few more simple contact pages. So it's really starting to look like a real website now. Before we move on, let's take a quick look at the front end of this contact page. Let's go here. Now that we start expanding our website, you might notice that the title and the subtitle are pretty static. They're exactly the same on all pages. So take the contact page here. Welcome from Braco TV. And if we check the front page, it's exactly the same. Not to worry, I've got a plan for it. That plan involves compositions, a concept I'll introduce you to in the next video. And that was it for this video. You're of course more than welcome to go ahead and expand your content tree and add more document types and templates as well. I'll see you in the next video.